Former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar has received the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. His media aide, Paul Ibe, has said. The former number two citizen received the vaccine in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, on Wednesday, January 6, 2021. Pfizer BioNTech COVID 19 vaccine has been approved by several countries, including United States, United Kingdom, Malaysia, and Switzerland. It has also been approved by the World Health Organization. The importance of the COVID-19 vaccine in mitigating the effects of the coronavirus cannot be overstated, particularly in Africa and Nigeria. On Wednesday, as part of the mass vaccination program, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar received the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine, Mr. Ibe said. He is anxiously looking forward to when Nigerians especially medical professionals in the front line and the most vulnerable will be vaccinated in the country. Atiku had in a New Year Day message expressed belief that the vaccines would soon be available for vaccination in Nigeria. He added, It is also hoped that very soon life would return to normal. The federal government had on Tuesday, January 5, said it hoped to get 42 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines to battle coronavirus in the country. Executive Director of National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Faisal Shaib, stated this at the press conference of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Abuja. He said, Through COVAS facility, we expect to receive approximately 100,000 doses of Pfizer BioNTech vaccines by the end of January. A letter announcing this allocation is being expected this week. Despite the efficacy of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, there are concerns that some persons contracted COVID 19 despite receiving the first dose of the vaccine. U.S. House of Representatives member Kevin Brady tested positive for the coronavirus on Tuesday, January 5, after receiving the first dose of the vaccine on December 18, and tested negative for COVID-19 as recently as New Year Day. On Monday, January 5, another House member, Kay Granger, announced she contracted COVID-19 after receiving the first dose of the coronavirus vaccine in December. 